This is Stu Miniman with Wikibon.org uh, at the IBM Edge conference in Las Vegas, uh, grabbing some interviews from uh, some of the people at the conference. And we brought to, uh, brought to this interview Ian Shave, who's uh, with IBM and based in Shanghai, China. Ian, thanks for joining us for the interview. Thank you very much for, for asking me. Great. So you, uh, you handle uh, IBM's OEM storage solutions. Could you explain to us what that means? Yeah, so it's the, the products that we actually buy in, um, for example, from, from NetApp. Uh, and obviously we rebrand them, we add our value around them and then bring, bring them to market for our customers and build the right solutions around them. Great, so, so it's timely that we ran into you because uh, NetApp had an announcement today about cluster.tap yep. uh, 8.2. Could you tell us uh, really IBM's uh, you know, involvement with cluster.tap and what you've seen for uh, customers adopting in the field? Sure, uh, so IBM has been obviously working very closely with NetApp on this for quite some time. We actually started making that available to our clients back in January of this year. Um, we've been doing that through kind of controlled rollout process um, and been sort of slowly adapting it and, and deploying it across the globe, uh, you know, gradually. And we, obviously, as you say, they've just announced cluster data on tap 8.2. Uh, we will actually be making that available as well um, by the end of June and then making ours kind of officially IBM general availability at the end of this year. Um, so at the moment, let's say we're doing true control rollout. But yeah, we're seeing a lot of customer interest in that, uh, and they're really seeing the value in being able to exploit much more out of their infrastructure by clustering it together. Okay, C could you give us a little bit more drill down on kind of the, just the IBM NetApp relationship? Uh, you know, NetApp's gone through a few bumps in the road recently, and sure. some of the market's frowning on them. You know, how, how do you speak to that relationship? So the, the relationship's still very strong. Um, people have been asking me, you know, how, how is it going? And I guess it's a demonstration of certainly the, the commitment from IBM in that relationship. We are, we've been increasing the resource in terms of our development around their product. We're increasing the solutions that we're, we're bringing to market based on that product as well, and, and understanding better how we can leverage the values to our clients at using that sort of base infrastructure. So it's, it's continuing to build. Okay, not to put you on the spot too much, but sure. when we look at kind of scale-out architectures, I mean, IBM has its SONAS solution. Sure. How, how do you see kind of clustered on tap versus some of uh, some of the other architectures out there? Well, I guess it's you know just ensuring we can have the, you know, we like to have options. So rather than just saying there is only a one size fits all, you know, we have two different options, and obviously, particularly with the the, net, the NetApp cluster data on tap, that can appeal to our existing installed end series customers and to new customers that perhaps want to start at a very small scale. Um, and sort of grow it from there, whereas our Sonus architecture is designed more for larger environments. Great. All right, uh, any final, final comments you want to leave us with on kind of IBM's OEM storage solutions? Uh, well, so just really keep you know an eye out for the, the solutions that we're going to continue to bring. We've recently been talking about uh, an economic end series solutions where we can help reduce you know, the customer's capex spend by about 40%. So we're, as I said, looking at how we can really leverage the value of our end series, but, but with increased value to our IBM clients. Um, and you'll see an awful lot more of those coming, including solutions around OpenStack as well, like with Hadoop and things like that. So there's an awful lot more coming from IBM around this. All right, thank you, Ian, for joining us. Uh, thank you. Appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. All right, and this is Stu Miniman with Wikibon, here with uh, SiliconANGLE's live continuous coverage from IBM Edge in Las Vegas.